Well, ladies and gentlemen, Jai Hind and welcome. Today's topic is a, a very uh, interesting topic. But unfortunately, overground workers, as they are called, very loosely as OJWs, are an accepted norm today in the civil society without truly understanding its impact, role and relevance to perpetuating the violence which is happening in Kashmir. I'll start by saying that terrorism forms is a combination of two words, terror and ism. Terror is perpetuated by terrorist and a terrorist is a commodity which is if killed has got no relevance, very easy to identify, is an expendable commodity. But the harder one to pin down is the aspect of ism which is driven by a group which is called as overground workers, enjoying all the facilities of the democratic rights which is available in our country and certain developed world. They sit well placed in const, enjoy good livelihood, but they continue to drive discontent youth onto the path of violence. The OGWs are well known for providing logistics to the terrorist, a sustenance, movement, support mechanism. But today I would like you to delve and think about two very important layers of this OGW network. First one, which I always call them as white collar terrorist, Safed Posh Dashatgarh, are the ones who are prominent members of the civil society, a neighborhood shopkeeper, a government servant, a person running a business whose children study in good schools. They themselves draw handsome salaries and profits. Their brothers and sisters are also involved in government jobs or settled across the country, even abroad. They are the ones who are more like factory of terrorists. These people identify from the young gullible youth, the vulnerable ones, either due to drug issues, who are in studies, have no mission and scope in life, challenges at home. Once having identified such a person, he instigates his mind through various materials and form, either through religious lines or the lines of separatism or the most common factor called victimhood. Having identified this young man and having instigated him, thereafter he puts him onto a path of initiation of one terrorist act. It may be a grenade lobbying. It may be a killing of a principal, a school teacher, a woman. It may be killing of a firing at an unarmed traffic policeman. Killing of a non local laborer or even a shopkeeper who was a neighborhood pharmacist. Once he crosses this path of no return, 
the only way this terrorist, this youth, ends up dead. And this death and the loss of Kashmiri blood warms the heart of this white collar terrorist and his mentors and controllers across because it fulfills two agendas. The first is the same gentleman, the prominent member of the society or the mohalla or the village goes to attend the zanaza or calls on the family who's lost the terrorist, the youth, the young one, at times the only breadwinner, the only brother of four to five sisters with old parents as a concerned citizen. But that is a place he prays, he prays on the next target, the next youth from this entire process to become the next terrorist. For this, he gets paid well. He ensures that the peace does not return into Kashmir Valley. It ensures there is a complete economy which continues to be nurtured. And he draws his eminence through the cycle of violence. The second one to benefit is our inimical elements across border. It allows this one killing to keep the pot boiling in the international forums. It also ensures that the peace and stability in Kashmir Valley remains a distant dream. But most of all, the most important factor which they achieve, they use the Kashmiri blood, not their own. And Kashmir is a tool to strike at the very idea of India. The second layer today in the OGW and fast evolving, the silent ones, concerned citizens are the Kashmiri diaspora, duly supported by army of networks. This diaspora settled abroad, lives in plush houses, great business, well paid through the ISI. They continue to type out the fastest finger and target the youth through the latest equipment in the hand that is the mobile. And the, the process of online radicalization, I call them as the digital radicalization groups. <coughs> By the way, they are adequately supported by well-read, educated members, at times doctors, professionals, people who are in the teaching job, educationists, businessmen, who on this side of the NC, in Kashmir Valley, have got all the privileges available to them in the world. And they continue to poison the mind of the youth through online, chats, calibrated debates, using the platforms such as Clubhouse, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram and the likes. They don't get harmed in any way. The person who gets harmed is the low end spectrum of a young man. I only ask you, that Mehran, with his 18, 19 years age, the terrorist, the so-called terrorist, a young man of age of 16 years, who fired on a policeman, unarmed policeman, with a pistol. What worldview they have at this age to pick up a gun? This two-day seminar. Ladies and gentlemen, it is important to bring into space, to discuss and debate the role a 
of the poor ground workers, which while people pick, while the police picks them up, puts them behind bars for a few months, maybe a year, they come back as a curse on the society to continue to ensure the cycle of violence remains elusive to be controlled by the security forces in the government. This debate needs to go public. You need to speak out your mind and in the most candid form. Until less the mother of a terrorist, the father of a prospective terrorist does not step out and ask this prominent civil society member that why is it your son, your brother has not picked up the gun. Ladies and gentlemen, the government can only limit itself to killing terrorists. Year on year, we can continue to kill terrorists. Very, very easy task for security forces. But the role which you and the civil society has to play is the most important role to expose these people who sit amongst us, live amongst us, call them out and ensure that the cycle of violence ends and peace and prosperity and the glory of Kashmir and Kashmir people returns what it was many centuries back.